The absolute best 85 millimeter lens for the Sony E-mount system is something that you're gonna find out in this video. Mm -hmm. ah, you didn't think I'm gonna say it like in the beginning of the video, right? The first thing that we're gonna test out is the autofocus performance of these lenses. And I've done three different tests. And the first one is gonna be using the IAF and then moving the camera around to see how each lens performs using the IAF. The worst performer is the Sony FE lens because it did have some issues jumping between the IAF and the face AF and it didn't really stay locked on the eyes as I was moving the camera around. The G Master was a little bit better though, but it also had some issues jumping between IAF and face AF, so it's gonna land on third spot in this test. The baddest lens was really dead on with the IAF and it basically only jumped over to the face AF as I was moving Amanda's face really close to the edge of the sensor. But as soon as I moved Amanda back into frame, it really snapped onto the eye really fast. And then we had the Samyang that was dead on all the time, but the autofocus performance of these two was really, really similar. So this is gonna be a tie between the Samyang and the baddest. The second autofocus test that I did is to see the pure autofocus speed of these lenses to see which lens that is actually the fastest lens when it comes to the autofocus. Hmm. The first round had the Samyang and the Sony FE lens come in at a tie and then the baddest as second place and then the G Master at a last place. In the second round the Samyang came in at a first place then we have the baddest and then the Sony FE lens at a tied second, and then the G Master was last once again. In the third and final round, the Samyang lens and the Sony FE lens came in at a tie with the baddest as a close second, and once again, the G Master last. So when it comes to pure autofocus speed for images of these lenses, the Samyang is the fastest one. The third autofocus test that I did was in video mode and I already know right now that the Samyang will not do well. <laughs> As you can see here on the left, the Sony FE and the Baddest is quite similar in speed, but the Baddest is the fastest one of the two. On the right side we have the G Master, which is working kind of slowly, but it's still really accurate. And then we have the Samyang that didn't even find focus, even though it is the exact same settings on all these tests. All right, so autofocus wise, the winner of these lenses is gonna be the size baddest because it was like, it was dead on with the IAF and it is by far the best lens when it comes to video as well. So, with that out of the way, let's jump into the most important aspect of a camera lens, which is the image quality. I was out here in Gothenburg a couple of days ago using all these lenses to take some photos with because I wanted to see which lens that is the sharpest and best one when it comes to real world use. And as I was doing these tests, I managed to snap a photo that I think turned out really, really good. And I want you to guess what lens that I used to snap this photo with. So when it comes to sharpness, I can always say that if you think that the Sony FE lens is on par with the size baddest, then you're wrong. I've been taking a lot of different shots with the exact same settings and I did shoot at f1.8 because that is probably like the aperture that most people are gonna use when they are using these lenses. And I did actually think that the G Master What's going to be the sharpest one until I did the review of the Samyang lens? And if you haven't checked that review out, you can do it right here because, you know, it's a really good one. So in the first image that I took, the softest lens was the regular Sony FE lens. And then at the third place, we have the Sony G Master lens, which was kind of surprising. And at second place, we have the Samyang, which is a real performer. And this lens is really sharp even if you're shooting at f1.4 as well, but it does give your images like a slightly yellow tint to them. I don't know why, but 
that's something to be aware of. And then we only have one lens left. That is the sharpest one, the size baddest. And I do know that 85 millimeter lenses are usually used to shoot weddings and portraits and all that stuff. So I did a quick shoot together with my fiance Amanda to see if the result still was the same because usually you don't use one of these lenses to shoot landscapes and architecture. The regular Sony FE lens produced the softest image of the four lenses. And then the G Master came in at a third place, which is still kind of surprising. But on second place, came the Samyang lens. And once again, on top is the size baddest 85 millimeter F1.8. So the Samyang is sharper than the G Master at F1.8, but the overall sharpness of the baddest is better than the Samyang lens. So the most price worthy 85 millimeter lens that you can buy for the Sony E-mount system, according to me, is gonna be the Samyang 85 millimeter f1.4 lens because this is really really sharp even if you shoot it at wide open the autofocus is really really good when it comes to images but it's not good if you're gonna use it for video so the best 85 millimeter lens when it comes to sharpness autofocus video performance and stabilizations that you can buy for the sony e-mount system according to me is gonna be the size baddest 85 millimeter f 1.8 this is a really really good lens i really hope that you liked this video and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot if you haven't subscribed yet that'd be really appreciated as well and if you want to buy any of these lenses i'm going to put the links to it down below i also want to know which lens do you think is the best of these four drop a comment until next time, oh, take care.